Hello, it's Anton. I have always been interested in how to memorize things better. My parents told me the most important thing I needed to remember was my home phone number in case I ever got lost. But how do you remember numbers well? There are people who are able to memorize dozens of digits and remember them flawlessly. How do they do that? My strategy before this experiment was essentially just repeating the numbers really, really quickly, like 8675. 8675, 8675, and then I would hope that I still remembered whenever I needed to remember it. This is not what the professionals do. What they use is something called the major system. This is how the major system works. Every digit is translated into a letter using this chart here. So the digit zero becomes an S, Z, or soft C. Number one becomes a T or a D, two, N, and so on. Now, once you have those letters, then you make a word. Each word is gonna represent two numbers. This is a memory technique called batching. Another example of batching is remembering a phone number as a kid. I would remember the area code, the middle three numbers, and then the last four. So I would batch 10 numbers into only three. We can use the words to come up with a vivid image. We can think of our vivid image and translate backwards to get the numbers again. I started implementing the major system in my own practice. I was using this site, memoryleague.com. They allow you to practice memorizing several different things. By practicing the major system for one day, I increased the digits I remembered from five to 12. However, I wasn't able to get these 18 digits because I was relying on spur of the moment, coming up with different words each time. So I wasn't able to do it within the time limit that they give. Pros have a set 100 images that they can bring to mind at any time. I downloaded this spreadsheet online, which gave recommendations and examples for every number. I narrowed it down to one word for each category. I realized that I could make some changes to make it easier to remember. This way I could see the patterns and make both the rows and columns more similar. I also changed some words to be things more specific to me that I would remember well. For example, when I was a kid, my brother and I talked a lot about mythology. So to me, Zeus is a very distinct image. Once I decided on my 100 words, I made an Anki deck. Anki is a flashcard program that's free and very good. You can download decks from other people and you can also make your own. Once I'm comfortable with this, I will be able to practice the numbers again and we'll see how it goes. This is the amount of time it's taken. So you can see it's really front loaded and it takes less and less time. So if I were to keep this up, I would expect that it would continue to take less and less time. I've worked on the major system through Anki for a couple of days. And unfortunately, I was only able to increase my memorization by one digit from 12 to 13. The last thing you have to do is make sure you get the order correct. There are two ways to do this. The first way is by using something called pegs. For example, you can use the alphabet to have 26 concepts in order. In order to associate, let's say you wanted to have an animal that started with each letter of the alphabet. So you could say alligator, bear, chihuahua, whatever you want. For the first number that you think of, once you've converted that into a concept, let's say you took the numbers three, two and converted it into man, you can think of a man being bitten by an alligator and that will cue you that that is the first image. The second more widely known technique is using what's called a memory palace. The way this works is you assign each image to a place in a physical location. For example, you could use your house. Take my house, for example. Let's say I needed to memorize six concepts. I could have the first first one inside my front door. I could have the second one inside my living room, the third one inside my kitchen, upstairs, my office, in the hallway. And I can mentally retrace the path while I'm recalling those concepts. If I've done a good enough job vividly imagining the object or concept at that location, when it's time to remember, all I have to do is mentally walk through my house and I'll be able to remember everything. This is especially difficult for me because I have something called aphantasia, which means I can't literally see images in my mind, but by applying it, I've still been able to increase the number of digits memorized from 13 up to 18. So I've now made it to level four on that website. Now I'm just going to keep pushing the number of digits up and see how many I can get. We're here for the final test. I have been able to memorize 22 digits in the 60 seconds it gives me. I'm going to try for 24 just because it would be cool to beat this next level. 
This is time it gives you to sort of clear out any memory palaces you might have. 22, inside my door there's some non, but it's dark, it's like a noir setting. Oh, and then in my way before I get in the house there's a log. I go upstairs putting my hand along the rail. There's a young lad at the top of the stairs eating sushi and some more naan and cheese. He points me to the damn bathroom. 93.09.29. <laughs> I couldn't get it all done, but I'm still going to use basic repetition because it's fast. What was the story? I walked in my house. There was some naan, but it was dark. So it was sort of a noir setting. There was a log in the way. Put my hand on the rail. And then at the top of the stairs, there was a young lad lad who was eating more naan and sushi and cheese. Something about he needed to go to the damn bathroom. Ah, it was cheese and the naan. Ah, that's the problem with having them all in the same place. So it didn't quite work. I remembered all the digits, but not in order. So we're going to go again. Got to beat level four. Clear out the memory palace. The biggest limiting factor to how many you can memorize is just the time that you're given. 24, I go in. It's a noir setting. Go into my living room. There's some roses on the table. There's a gnat buzzing around. I go into the kitchen. There's a bat. It's also noir in the kitchen. There's a dish on the counter. There's mail next to the dish. I'm not skipping the refresh time. What was it? 90, 54, 50. I can only memorize that way about five digits, so we'll see. Now, what was the story? I walk in. It's a noir setting again. Go to my living room. There's a rose, but there's a gnat flying around. I think there was also a bat went into the kitchen. I think it was noir again. There was a dish on the counter, and then there was also mail next to the dish. Ah, uh, no. Yeah, that one was tough because it was these these ones back here. It was pretty much all of them that I got wrong. Oh, I said 91 instead of 92. I encoded that wrong. I said it was a bat. 92 is not bat. Clear out the mind, clear out the memory palace. The time limit is really tough. I know I could do 24 numbers, but in a minute is really the challenge. Walk in my house, there's fudge. In my living room, there's a rope, sacks in closet. I forgot something. Go back out to the mat. There's some cash under the mat. Walk inside to the sofa and I roar with happiness. 35, 98, 54. Uh, that one's a no-go. I know that I'm not going to be able to get all of them because I just didn't even see all of them. I walked in the house. There was some fudge, a rope hanging, sack. Yeah, I don't know. I go over to the sofa and roar and I don't know. I totally forgot about this. Oh, right. I went back to the mat and found some cash. This is tough. I'm going to try to talk less and just think about it because I think talking is maybe slowing me down too much. 24 digits in one minute. I have to be as fast as possible. Just the first thing that comes to mind. Big high five. Soar to the living room where the fan is on. I go to the kitchen to get a sack of potatoes. Potatoes! And I see Paver there. And I say, you've really got the knack for that. Go upstairs to the rail. And someone is playing a rock gig. And I say, shush. No! Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I encoded it wrong. I said sore. A six. That would be a shore or share. Maybe chair. That was good, though. That was really, really close. There's the paver. Hit my shin until I'm shush. I go to the table. There's some non, and I have to fight off my foes. And then I have to laugh. So with my nose, I smell some more non. Oh, in the kitchen, there's a, there's a bat flying around. No, I was wrong. I need to space things out more. I'm still just sticking too much to the first few bits of my house, so I'm not able to use it as effectively. I think my brain is starting to get fried because I high-fived my dad. I think there was mail in the kitchen. I need to use a different memory palace. I have too many conflicting stories. Yeah, I don't even remember. I'm going to use the home that I grew up in. So my mom's there. Give her a high five. The ground is... Oh no, I encoded it wrong. It was an eight, not a seven, so it should have been a safe or something. I know I can do this. I'm going to do this today. There's no point in this one. I I just totally blanked out. It wasn't a log. It would have been a, a lop or something. I've gotten 23 digits, but I really want to get 24. It doesn't just have to be a building. By the way, you can do like a whole neighborhood. I'll try doing that. Wait, this is sun. 
Oh, there's some mail on the ground, and then the sun was... Ugh. We're even in the parking lot. No! That was so close. I miscoded it again. I'm gonna get this. So I sit down. What a fail. Get up using the bin by the door in the living room. Bam! There's non. So I sit down again. There's a gnat flying around. Turn on the tap. Examine my nail. <sighs> yes! I've grown from a man to a god. Oh, that feels good! 24 letters. <laughs> okay. 24 numbers. I don't even know what I'm talking about. That is so hype. On this channel, I like to do some analysis. For this experiment, the analysis is pretty simple. We have here digits memorized by method. Started off with repetition, was able to remember five. During the major system on the fly, without any pre-association of words, I was able to get 12 digits. Once I had pre-planned it out, I was able to get 13, not too much better. And with adding the memory palace, I was able to get 24. So from five to 24 in about four days, I would call that a success. I probably could push it further with more practice, but I think that proves my point well enough. Feel free to try it at home. I hope this was helpful to you. If you do end up trying it, let me know in the comments how it went. Thanks for watching this video. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, share with your friends, and leave a comment if you have any questions or if you have a video that you'd like to see. See you next time.